Hey guys, Kerry here. So today I'm going to show you how you can kill the God Devouring Serpent slash Rykard and the optional Tanith Knight Invader, the Crucible Knight, uh, kind of with a cheese method here. And to do that, I'm going to show you at an extremely low level. My character is only level 19, has no upgrades. Because uh, a lot of the videos that I was trying to find to do this were not very helpful. And uh, I'm pretty squishy. So this is a method that I kind of found and thought I'd share. We're going to run all the way over here to the left side of the boss fight. To this formation of rocks right here. I'm going to put a marker on this one because we're going to jump up on it. So you start on the left side, let's slow that down. You start on the left side, you jump towards the right, and when you hit the spine of the rock, that's when you start turning straight slash left in order to kind of grab hold of the ground there for a quick second jump up. So yeah, just kind of look for, uh, if you put one of those little rainbow stones down as a marker, it really helps because then it lets you see exactly where you need to be landing for that jump. It's just right on the spine of that rock. I'm going to struggle here for a second to do it. And uh, once you start the boss fight, it is a bit of a time crunch to get up there. So I'd recommend practicing this jump quite a few times before the fight starts. And once you're up here, there is a lot of areas that you can fall through the map. So do be careful. Kind of try and stay within the parameters that I do. So I'm using a bunch of items like warming stones, the perfumer's shield, things like that. Uh, the shield actually does save me, I think, right there from the poison attack. That's basically the only attack he can uh, fire up there that'll reach you. So you just kind of want to watch out for the poison attack. You won't do it much if you do what I'm doing. And all the items I use are optional. You don't need them. It's just nice to have. So for the most part, he's now just going to sit here. I'm going to use Scarlet Rot, and then uh, once he's rotted, I'm going to switch to the Serpent Hunter Sword for this fight and damage him down. So I'll just fast forward to the end of that. Alright, so now that he's almost dead, and uh, I fast forwarded, but like he did not move at all. He just stood there and took the attacks for like 30 seconds, so not really worthwhile watching. So I just get all my buffs in order right now, and uh, when the fight begins, I bring in a spirit summon just to help uh, as an added distraction to allow me to use the, the jump to get up in case I miss it on the first try. Because yeah, again, it is a little bit more of a tricky jump, and when you're running over here, he'll have a few fire spirits that uh, shoot off at you, so just make sure you kind of juke those before uh, getting to your rock. But yeah, just like that, find the uh, find the spine so you connect with it and then jump all the way up. So he's going to have two kind of hellfire attacks that he's going to do. And for the most part, you just run. You will lose your spirit summon if you go too far up away from the fight on these rocks. And you might also fall through the map. So stay closer to the edge as you're running this. And all I'm doing is I'm running to this next big pillar that we can't get around. We're just going to kind of stay in between the two big pillars. So I run all the way over there to the left, which just helps dodging all of these uh, hellfire attacks nice and easily. Don't really need to be doing much, just running around. And there we go. Oh, my spirit got up here. That's kind of cool. But yeah, you're just jumping around until the uh, Hellfire attack is over. Okay, so now that it's done, he's going to mellow out and just kind of sit there. So I'm going to give him the Scarlet Rot. Uh, I also have Frost Breath, some Poison Pots, anything to lower his health. I don't really like using the Serpent Hunter Sword here, just because it does stagger him. Like, it's really good damage, but it staggers him quick. And I found the more times I staggered him, he would come out of the stagger and be a little more unpredictable. So you're welcome to still use it, but just know he will be a little bit more unpredictable if you do. And then right here at about half health, he's going to start the second Hellfire attack. So there'll be an audio cue, he'll raise his sword. So once you start seeing all these spirits, that's your time to start running. For some reason I took off to the right first, which gave me about 20 feet to move, not a lot. 
So I would recommend just going straight left, which is what I'm doing now. But yeah, you just come all the way over there to the left, uh, and then you can turn around, see, so like, nothing really can hit you up here. Honestly, like, I probably didn't even need the bubble for this fight. Uh, most of the damage I take, like, right now, it's just, like, his fire on the ground, because I got a little too close to him. So this is generally a pretty safe area, and now he's just going to sit here again and do nothing while I wail on him. Health is pretty low here, so I'm just going to finish him quick with the Serpent Sword. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend just wait it out with the with the Rot. I'm merely pulling this out for the length of the video. But yeah, anyways, I, I mean, I got that done in probably... I don't know, I'd like to say that was maybe a 6-7 minute fight for me. So it's not too bad at all, especially if you're struggling on a very low level character. Like, I'm only 19, haven't upgraded anything yet. Probably shouldn't be here, but I am. Uh, and this fight will, uh, or this, sorry, this area up here, it will actually work for Tanith's Knight as well. So if you are fighting Tanith's Knight, you come up to this rock where he will get stuck right in between it, and it will give you an opportunity to hit him with some ranged attacks. So I don't have much with me, so I just use Frenzied Burst until he dies. Uh, if you're a melee fighter, um, I guess this doesn't really work too well for you. Uh, but you could poison them or something. Typically, though, I would, uh, if it's myself, I would just use parry on him because his attacks are very readable. But I thought it was kind of cool that you could also cheese him up there. And that's how you get uh, the consorts set. Anyways, I uh, hope this video is helpful for someone. Uh, I was struggling on this fight for quite a while until I discovered that, so just thought I'd share with you guys. Hopefully it's not too complicated. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.